Hey everybody, it's your ever faithful granny monster. And yeah, I'm well aware that there's all kinds of everything in every direction. And you know, at some point it just kind of is what it is. And there was also a poetry challenge recently. And I know a lot of people did some funny ones and I know a lot of people did some comic ones and some people did some serious ones. And on that note, I'm reading you one of my favorites, uh, and it's by Max Ehrman, and it goes a little bit like this. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence, as far as possible, without surrender. Be on good terms with all persons, speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations on the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for there will always be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is the real possession of the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection, neither be cynical about love, for in the face of arity and disenchantment it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly to the counsel of years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth, Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether it is clear to you or not, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God whatever you conceive him to be. And whenever your labors and aspirations and the noisy confusion of life keep peace with your soul, with all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it's still a beautiful world. Be cheerful and strive to be happy. And that was written in 1952. And I think that it is still probably one of my personal philosophies as best I can. And I also wanted to address what I feel about love and hate relationships. You see, there is a fine line between love and hate, very fine line. And in order to feel one or the other, you have to be passionate. You have to feel strongly in order to express love. You have to feel strongly in order to express hate. If you are expressing either one of those and you're feigning those emotions, you're doing it just to grant and try and gather some attention. When I tell someone I love them, it is because I take time to view their content or leave their comments because I'm not feigning that. If I truly hate someone, then that means that they have given me a passion for them. But truly, I feel at some times nothing but apathy. And let's explain what apathy is. Apathy is the lack of feeling. And if I tell you I feel nothing, neither love nor hate, that means that I feel nothing in regards to what you do or, or who you are. And so I'm not going to waste my time with either apathy nor hate because when I feel passionate love about someone, I'd rather spend my time doing that for real. And when you are in a situation where they say, oh, I love that person and or I hate that person, that is expressing passion. 
And yes, haters gonna hate, lovers gonna love, etc., etc. And view time is view time. But my suggestion is this: if you are spending your time in a situation where hate governs and rules the atmosphere, are you there to just kind of pick up other subscribers or, I mean, are those the ones you want, really? <laughs> Not so much. And yeah, I'm well aware that Saturday, 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 there's going to be some sort of live stream and I just don't care. I don't care. And again, we go back to apathy and, you know, sending screenshots and, oh, this, that, and the third. I just don't care because that's giving them view time, whether you're making comments or not. It's still giving them air time. It's still giving them view time. It's still putting them up there in ranks. Enough. Enough. Now, if you guys find it entertaining, that's groovy. You just go right ahead and find it entertaining. If you believe in the hype and, and the bullshit, then go ahead. I don't care. If you think you're going to expose a bunch of my friends because why, I don't know. You recorded Hangouts and you're going to expose them and so on and so forth. Really? That's just, I don't know what to make of you guys anymore. You know, and <laughs> it's like, you know, when I say I feel nothing, that is exactly what I'm representing. You know, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You gotta have something if you want to be with me, and really, there's nothing there. And to say it's jealousy, oh, come on. And again, that's an emotion. And if I don't, if I have apathy, that means ain't nothing happening. <laughs> ain't nothing happening. So yeah, you know, that's it. That's all. Zero, <laughs> you know? So yeah, my suggestion is this, if you find it entertaining, if you find a big expose to be entertaining, then by all means be entertained. If you feel like you want to actually watch some people's other people's content and support them and care about them, that's groovy too. But really, in a bigger picture, the more you guys sit and lurk and go, Am I next? Am I next? Am I fucking next? Then guess what? You probably will be. And again, it goes back to what another person says about me is none of my business. It's not because, and again, don't care, don't care. And I honestly would rather watch South Park and see who killed Kenny next. I would on reruns because I find that more entertaining. I find it more entertaining than squidbillies. How about that? So anyway, I am your ever faithful granny monster. And yeah, for real, you know, it's just a numb day. Numb, numb, numb day. And I got your number. There you go. And I'm out. Deuces.